boy so um that was the uh c7 gt3 felt really nice to drive feels i think it feels as good feels just uh, feels as good as the uh, audi r8 like in a slightly different way like it's um i feel like you can be quite aggressive with the car and um but i feel like it turns a little bit easier like when i go around corners it it it, it keeps turning whereas the um, and also I can use the throttle to get it to turn around whereas with the the R8 you get, I get some like mid corner corner exit understeer my like, entry is not been pretty decent but then it just kind of like as soon as I get on the gas it just starts to go a little bit wide so it's, I would, it's easier to drive because I guess that you know um, with, the, with that understeer but I feel like I can push the C7 a bit easier with the setup that I've um, that I'm racing with now um, so yeah handling wise I like it speed wise you can see the top speed I think on this was like a 264 264 265 which is about five um, five more than the than the R8 um, and you can see that I'm second for I'm just under or just over a second faster than the R8 as well um, I'm pretty sure I could improve both times but again, it'll be roughly around the eight tenths to, I mean, yeah, eight tenths to, to a second sort of like range in terms of like the difference. Um, but yeah, there is a big, there is a big caveat though. Like it's not all, all unicorns and rainbows on the C7 side. You will be compromising in fuel economy. So this car does use up a lot more fuel than the R8 does. The R8 is definitely probably geared towards more sort of like endurance longer races I'd say longer than an hour um, so I did two little two little tests did a few laps on spa with both the C7 and R8 as you know so with the R8 you're doing 3.6 liters per lap with the C7 you're doing three point no 4.6 so that there is quite a quite quite a considerable difference the difference is basically 28 percent so if you like from the r8 side the c7 will be using 28 percent more fuel from the c7 side the r8 will be using 22 percent less fuel so now knowing how this is going to make a big difference you're going to have to basically uh you're going to have to do a few little scenarios so let's just do like one scenario say an hour hour long race so in that hour long race at spa you'll potentially be needing 21 to 22 laps if it's a 22 laps the r8 will need 98 liters for the entire race whereas the c7 will need 125 liters that means that the r8 can go the entire hour without any pit change while the c7 will need to do a little splash and dash towards the end or maybe in the middle when everybody's doing a pit stop or whatever but you'll need to spend more time refueling the car so this could make a very big difference because if that's the case then you're going to find yourself quite far behind the r8 after the pit stop with either, despite you being in the lead so uh, and i also did the same thing with like a slightly different track zandvoort on zandvoort same thing uh, no 37 laps for an hour race so with the r8 you'd need 85 liters with the c7 you'd need 109 so in that sort of track both cars won't need a pit 
um, but yeah it seems that longer than an hour it's it's getting a lot worse for the C7 and I, and I haven't done any sort of like tests on uh, on tyre wear so I don't know exactly what that's going to be saying all I know is this is just based off fuel and then if you go even longer than that say an hour and a half now now you're pushing that both of the cars do need to pit but the R8 will spend a lot less time in the pits than the C7 so the R8 would need 126 litres and the C7 will need 161 litres now the R8 has a has a tank of 115 so that means you'll then need to add in 11 litres which will be an extra 5 to 6 seconds in the pit but the C7 obviously has a, has a pit of 120 which means you're going to have to pit uh, you're going to have to refuel 41 litres that's going to be an extra 20 seconds that's going to be 20 seconds like 20 20 plus seconds or whatever so that's like a difference of like 15 seconds so it's that's a very very big cost in terms of speed you bet if you're going to pick the cc7 you better be damn sure that you're very fast with that car because the because uh, the because your equivalent racer whoever you're battling against if he's in an r8 there's a good chance that he will probably be able to stick with you a little bit in terms of the draft behind you won't be able to pass but he'll be passing you in the pits that's for damn sure so you know take it take it for what you will i mean obviously your your mileage would vary everybody uses fuel quite different but i have heard said about me that i am quite good on fuel economy so take take all these numbers with a grain of salt there's a chance that it could be slightly worse for you so that means the difference uh, the difference that i've spoken spoken to you about now could be a little bit bigger but um but yeah man uh, again like i said like the car a car lot. Uh, if you're gonna pick this car, pick it for shorter races than an hour. Um, or you know, track dependent, obviously. But um, but yeah. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you hope you guys find it helpful, and I'll see you guys soon.